hello and welcome to my channel today we are preparing doma this is what we call doma here in africa let me uh, unwrap them so that i can show you all these i got them at a hundred shillings that is uh, equivalent to one dollar and they are actually the best i know you've come across the type of uh, arrow roots that tests watery but for these ones, I get them from someone who has never sold me watery domas. And this is what we are preparing today. I discovered a new way of doing this. So let's jump into the video. And next we have these uh, onions. They are kind of spring onions but green in color. And this is how they look like. I know you remember we did a video on how to plant red onions, but for mine, they've not uh, reached a stage I can harvest. That's why I'm still buying onions. Look at this. All this is food, and this is the best onions for your food. Try spring onions. May it be green or white, and I'm very sure you love it. First, we will need to fry red onions first. Remember, you can't cook spring onions alone. Then after red onions, we'll top up with these spring onions. Look at this. I don't know if you've noticed that the green onions have some water in them. And that's where you can see we have much water in my pot. have not added any uh, drop of water. And this is because the spring onions, especially this green type, has a lot of water. And not just water. It's water mixed with a sweet aroma. And I'm telling you, it's the best. Try these onions, whether green or white. And I'm very sure you love the results. So let's fry this. And I'll show you how you know they are uh, they have cooked because they don't change the color that much. For these two pieces, I have put aside. Let me squeeze them and uh, push them to one side that I can. For this type, does not change to golden brown, so these ones are ready. And by now, I'll go ahead and wash my indomas or arrow roots so that I can put them inside my cooking onions. Remember, we agreed when it comes to cooking, you have to be creative and come up with new things. That's why for today, I have chopped my domas or arrow roots in a different shape i have never chopped my arrow roots like this and this because i want to get a result that i'll celebrate a result that will make me happy so this is how i will add them inside my onions Next, I'll cover my food so that at least it cooks and the flavor of the onions gets to penetrate inside our food. I'll go ahead and uh, stir my food so that the onions get inside the arrow roots like this. So by doing this, I'll ensure all the arrow roots absorb that onion's flavor. Thank you. 
then cover this food then go ahead to prepare the ingredients that we are going to add to this sweet food with me here i have a carrot capsicum or pili pili ho ho we have two tomatoes very ripe then we also have these other ingredients which i told you guys to give me the english name because for me i know how to call it in my mother tongue i will slice everything and add on top of my food and as i told you in my previous video for the tomatoes i don't add them on top of my food that's why you can see they are on one side i just squeeze my pot uh, my ingredients on one side so that they are at the basement of the pot that the tomatoes are ready i'll start mashing them remember they are on one side because i don't want to mash my domas then after mashing them i'll give them some few minutes like two to three minutes so that that liquid or the water from the tomatoes is extracted well then i stir and serve my food our food is by now ready and this how have served it i'll of course take it with some water because uh, arrow roots tend to choke someone and they look so yummy i don't know if you've noticed i've not added any stew this because i noticed if you happen to add water to your spring onions they happen to have bad taste so for me today i chose to cook my arrow roots with tomato soup or the extract from the tomatoes and this is how it looks like if you love the video so far give it a like and let me know if you prefer red onions or the spring ones nowadays for me i think spring ones are doing quite good so let me know which ones you prefer